Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Fishman and uh, Post Haste Pharmacy and uh, Life Extensions. And thank all of you guys for being here. And uh, I'm very excited about this. We came uh, here last year and uh, we had a very good time, but this is uh, a, a much uh, bigger crowd. And uh, I'm very encouraged that uh, we can um, attract so many uh, people and uh, doctors and healthcare professionals because uh, when I started this, which was long after uh, Dr. Fishman, uh, if you could get one doctor to listen to you, you were doing good. And so being in a room like this uh, is very exciting to me. And uh, it makes me feel good about this journey that I've been on. But to be honest with you, my goal in this was never to talk to a room full of doctors or write a book or to go and speak anywhere about this. That is not the reason why I started this. The reason why I started doing this <coughs> is because I wanted to stay married to my wife. That's, that's uh, it pure and simple. And uh, my wife will be here in a little bit. She's a beautiful woman. And you can see why I would want to stay married to her. But it became increasingly difficult as time went on because she had a real problem with my attitude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she had a, and, and you know it was amazing uh, that she had a problem with my attitude at certain times during her cycle that my, I, I, my personality changed two weeks before her period. And it was very upsetting to her that I would do that to aggravate her two weeks before her period. Why do you do this? Why do you, uh, you know, and it was just, she was very upset. And so, you know, I did what I, I learned in medical school, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And it didn't help much. And then I had some patients that came in, and they were asking me about different stuff. They were asking me about rubbing creams on them and asking me about changing their diet and these herbs and stuff, you know, I was like, these, these patients have lost their mind. What's wrong with them? You know, it, how could they be doing stuff like this? And so I, I uh, had one patient who gave me some information by John Lee. It was, a, it was a, a tape and I was too proud to listen to something. How can a patient teach me something? What's wrong with them? Don't they see those degrees on my wall? What are they trying to tell me? Uh, a different way to practice medicine. But my wife listened to it and said, this guy's talking about me. You need to listen to this and try and understand it. And so I did. And so I used some of the things that were in there and all of a sudden, my personality remained the same for the whole month. <laughs> it was amazing. My wife was doing all these changes and I was getting better. It was just, it was, it was amazing. So then what happened is I started using it with some, uh, some of the staff members in my office and they were improving, but here's the problem. I said, man, I can't do this to patients. I said, this is ridiculous, I can't do this. I said, it's totally against everything I learned in school. So I said, here's what I'm gonna do, because I, I gotta resolve this issue. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the textbook. And this textbook is by Dr. Sparrow. We have any OBGYNs in here, or family practice docs? Who list? Okay, I said, I'm gonna go to this textbook, because that's gonna explain to me why I was taught what I was taught in medical school, and so then I can feel good about going back and doing what I uh, learned in my residency. I said, oh, explain it all to me, and, and I'll just get all these crazy ideas out of my head. Well, let me tell you what I did. I looked in that book, and to my surprise, that book confirmed this stuff that I was doing for my wife. It totally confirmed this new way of thinking. And so I said, wow. This book, which is a physiology book, explains how my wife's physiology works, and if something is wrong with her physiology, then probably she's not gonna work so well. But if I can repair her physiology, maybe I will stay better for the rest of our marriage. Maybe it'll help me if I can help her physiology. Now, so that's what I did. I looked at that book, and I'm like, wow, Spiroff supports bioidentical hormone replacement. Now, if you listen to what comes out of his mouth, it's a lot different than what comes out of that book, okay? But now, here's the thing. My dad, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and my dad was a Baptist minister, so I spent a lot of time listening to my dad trying to get a message across. But sometimes, when you deliver a message of truth, people get upset with you, That's right. okay? So, but my dad always had a buffer because he would say something and the congregation would get a little riled up and after the service he'd say, what you mad at me for? 
-hmm. It's in the it's in the Bible. I didn't make this stuff up. It's right there. It's John 3, 16, 4, 6. What you getting mad at me for? So, this is the Bible of GYN endocrinology, like Dr. Fishman was saying. Can, I, can, can we agree that this is the Bible of GYN endocrinology? And you can go anywhere in the world, and if you've been trained in gynecology, you were forced to buy and read that book. Okay? So, I'm going to say some things out of that book. Just like he said, at the bottom of every slide, I'm going to give you chapter and verse. And you go look it up chapter and verse, and if you don't like what I said or it goes against what you thought was correct, don't get mad at me. It's in the Bible. Okay? All right. So we got that groundwork. So don't, don't go out here and start arguing with me, because here's what I'm going to tell you. Hey, what you screaming at me for? Call Dr. Spiroff. See what he, why he put that, that crazy stuff in his book. All right, so here we go. What does Spiroff tell us about bowel delta hormone replacement? This is Dr. Spiroff. Now, the person who spoke uh, before me, he said that we are supposed to give our patients direction. Isn't that what you said? We're supposed to, be, we're supposed to lead and we're supposed to give them direction. Well, this is the leader of GYN endocrinology, supposedly, the expert. And he said in 2006 of October, he said it's time to move forward for HRT. He says we, we've been stuck in this women's health initiative rut, we've got to move forward. So here's what he suggests. He says, I tell clinicians that until we have definitive randomized trial data, which we may never have, whatever the patient wants to do is the correct decision. That's real leadership, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I know what to do now. Oh, the expert has spoken. Patient comes in, says, hey, I got a problem with my hormones. What do you think I should do? What should our response be? I don't know. What